What is going on guys? My name is Ram back again from Roman Reviews here with another episode reaction to Demon Slayer Kimetsu no Yaiba episode 13 Suzumi Mansion. Now last episode was probably by far my actually like the that little arc that mini arc of just everything that happened is probably my favorite little arc that happened throughout the entire show and by far this show has been honestly my favorite show of summer season. I know a lot of people have been watching Attack on Titan and that consider and a lot of people consider that to be the best one, but I'm completely far behind in Attack on Titan. So that's probably why I haven't picked up on that show. But I am thoroughly looking forward to how this is gonna go. The last episode we ended off with the fact that the guy, um, Tanjiro met with that guy in the yellow cloak and the yellow hair and that really look scruffy looking hair. He's in the intro, um, who looks like he's perving over <laughs> or uh swooned over Nezuko. I mean, we are swooned over Nezuko, but she's for protection only and head pats. No looting. No looting the demon girl, although she's... I don't, know, I don't think she's actually an uh, lolly, so... Uh, yeah, but anyways, I'm ready to jump into this episode. I'm ready. I have my pre-mixed drink here because I had a really bad... I had a fun day at work. Let's just go with that. I had a fun day at work. So I think I have, like, what? I have Jameson and ginger ale. I think I have about like two, two and a half shots of ginger of J, uh, Jameson here. Um, so yeah, I just started drinking it. There's still some ice cubes. It's strong. I don't have work tomorrow, so that's good. But yeah, enough stalling. I'm ready to jump into this. I do apologize, but as per usual, no sound um, because I don't want to get copyright uh, claimed or anything. Uh, so yeah, let me just fix my webcam really quickly, but yeah, without further ado guys, let us jump in to Kimetsu no Yaiba episode 11 starting in 3, 2, 1, let's jam. I do like how, like, there is no downtime for him. I, I don't know, I have a, I kind of have a feeling we're also going to get a little bit of a, I wonder if this is going to be slightly, like, filler, but in, in, in a, in a good sense. It's not, not, not filler per se, but it's not going to be like fighting demons much. I, I, at least for the first half, it's going to be introduction of this guy. By the way, being on your knees and crying. Is that a sparrow? Hmm. But. I kind of have a feeling this isn't, like, we're, we might get introduced to, because, to, like, lately it's been a Demon of the Week, even though it's been Demon of, like, the, of, uh, like every other couple weeks. Um, Demon every other week. I wonder if we're going to be introduced to one at the end of this. We'll see, but I have the, the majority, I have a feeling the majority of this episode is definitely going to be introduction on this guy. We'll see what happens, though. I wonder when we're going to get that guy. The guy with the boar mask. Best girl. Like, I do find it funny like how Nezuko is both the... is like the comic relief of the show, if you think about it. But I have a feeling that this get this yellow guy is gonna be um another. I have a feeling that's gonna be the next major um fight they have. Um, but no, the guy in the yellow, I feel like he's gonna be a comic relief character now, with Nezuko being her just cute self. And I wonder if they're also gonna be like opposites, because if you think about it, water and electricity, they're they don't mix. Electricity usually beats water. Hmm. That looks like a sparrow. So, he's thirsty as fuck. And desperate. It is a sparrow, okay. The girl's gonna be gone. I 
I actually totally forgot he had a sparrow. I actually, actually thought um, the, the girl would have left her out throughout this entire ordeal. It's not how this works. It's not how. It, yep. <laughs> oh God. Oh my God, you're that kind of guy. Oh no. Bruh. Yeah, it's like a look of hopelessness. So, if you... Zenitsa? I just want him to say Zen. That just seemed better. It's going to take me a lot... A, a Quite a bit to get me to like him. Because I... I've seen this trope before. It's not the first time I've seen it. It's been a while since I've seen this kind of trope. In a while. That I can think of. But this one's an, almost an over-the-top representation of this trope. Bird pals. I actually got my uh, coworker to start watching this, and now he's um. He was a little bit uh. He was a little bit hesitant at first because he didn't think, he didn't think too much of it, but I got him to watch it a little bit more, and now he's he's is a really big fan of it. Like I said, this is my favorite show of the season so far. I've actually always wanted to have one of those. They look delicious, even though it's mostly just rice. Oh, it's just pure rice. Tendro is a really good dude, though. Like, I, I, I thoroughly am enjoying his character. His, his character has been thoroughly, um, and just fun and fascinating, especially with the last episode with, um, him comforting, uh, the Tamari chick. <laughs> I wonder what the I wonder if they're if the if the same assignment is going to be in at least I, I wonder if it's going to send them to the same area like are like, I wonder if, like, the Demon Slayer Corpse, like, if they have had assignments before, or if it's common that they pair up with other ones. I wonder. Is that the mansion? Is that the mansion that's in the intro? 
No. It looks... The one in the intro looks a lot bigger. Hmm. So he has distinct hearing. And he has distinct smell. That's actually a really good combination. Their eyes are almost... You know, I don't think I've ever seen a tame sparrow in my life. What happened? Their parents are dead. A monster's house? Oh, big brother. So it's peculiar over its victim. Yeah, he's like, you can hear him like doing that to his ears. So he's, he's trying to listen in. So, by the way, I was already wrong about my prediction so far. Just like how he can't smell. Jesus, the dude sounds huge. Is that the guy from the intro? That big ass dude? Like, it's weird. Like, he. Like, Zenetsu almost has, like, this comedic. Like, the way it's animated, or maybe perhaps drawn in the original manga. Oh, it's not his... So he's still in there. Okay. I actually totally thought it was him. But, like, they almost said, like, give um, Zenitsu, like, this comedic type of, um, almost trembling.
I want to see this ogre face. But one thing I will admit, it kind of... It ruined the tension in a little bit. Like, I, I love tension buildup. That was backup. But, I don't know, I like... I really don't... I really hope he doesn't cut in the tension way too much. That's my biggest worry. Because I love the tension, I love the emotions that happen. He kind of flips it on his head, and it's in a way that I personally... I can see other people liking it. Me personally, I don't like. So I'm hoping it, it, it it's more of a brief thing, and it's more just to show his character. And then later on, it won't be like that. 3D animation again. So far, I'm not liking him. I'm pretty sure it'll change later on. But as of right now, not too much of a fan of him. Why are they here? Crap, now he's got to protect fucking all of them now. Because this guy's... I wonder if back into a corner he becomes serious. That That's cool. That was cool. That's cool. It's a, like an, an illusion almost. It's an illusion. It's making him change. That's really cool. What if these kids were part of the What if what if these kids are part of the um or part of an illusion? Cause look at their eyes. I have a feeling these kids are meant to lure them in. That's just a prediction. I have no idea. It is, okay, I thought so. It is a guy from, um, the intro. Is he blind? But like I said, most of the stuff that I'm predicting, I'm I'm more than happy to be perfectly wrong with. I'm just, me personally, that's what I'm thinking. I don't know. Thank you. Hey, where does that cut deep probably mean that it is meant it's proof that they're true for the most part. I don't okay, maybe maybe not the kid maybe the kids are not part of the part of a bait. It's it's almost like a bait. Huh. Oh, hey! Okay! Nice! I didn't think we were gonna get both of them at once!
Is he making a, a disgusted face? <laughs> if it had been for those meddling kids and that damn box. <laughs> I'm guessing the guy with the boar mask. Rare blood, interesting. Just gonna dodge it. Oh, so every time he hits those, uh, I forget the name of it, but it's like it's like a Japanese form of a drum. So he has full control over the house. It's that guy. <laughs> I have a feeling I'm gonna like this dude, just for some reason. He's gonna be like this wild, just like a, just like a, with a boar head. He's gonna be like a wild boar. Those are that's sick. Oh, those are so cool. I like this dude already. No, that's it? Holy shit, this episode flew right past me. Wow. So I was right. We got introduced to the demon and we just got a brief glimpse of his power. We didn't get much of a backstory on Zenitsu, Zenitsu except he's a little bitch. But I have a feeling there's something more about him. There's got to be something more about him. But th this boar, ha this boar guy, I'm, I have, I'm just gonna really like him for some reason. But if you think about it, Nezuko cannot participate in this fight because she's outside. So, and it's still daytime, so Nezuko cannot join in at all unless someone comes and grabs her. So, it's really just the three of them versus this demon, this giant ass demon. I'm really looking for the next episode. But like I said, Zenetsu, I, I really. Don't know how I feel about him. I know there's going to be something more about him because it just screaming it. But yeah, this boar guy, I have a feeling I'm really going to like. Just something about, like his wild attitude is going to be a counter to Tanjiro's more, more calm in a way? In a, in a way. Alright, let's see this next. And I have what to say, I do love this. Bruh. I agree. 
But you might want to slow your roll a little bit. The boar bears the fangs. Oh, yeah, I, I have a feeling I'm really going to like him. All right. Well, that wraps up this episode. I did this episode really flew past, like in terms of time management. I didn't. Th I thought we were like halfway into the show before I forgot it did that little thing, the um, like uh, to indicate an intermission. I was not paying attention to how fast this episode went, and that's one thing. Like this, ep this series is one of the few series that I've realized that the time just passes by so quickly. Like Shield Hero, I can feel the uh, every minute. Um... The last one I can think of, even Boca Tachiwa, um, or We Never Learn. It's the same exact way. But this show, it just flies so fast, and I, I, I like it. I really enjoy it. Um, but yeah, anyways, guys, that wraps up this episode. I'm going to go watch We Never Learn um, right after this. I'm going to go upload this first and then react to it. Uh, but yeah, so look forward to that really quickly. And yeah, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't hate on me too much if, if for the fact that I, I kind of like don't like Zenetsu yet. I feel like I will. Because I highly doubt they're going to introduce me to a character that I'm not going to like. Um, because it feels like this show is able to flesh out its characters enough where I like them regardless. Even the freaking demon kids from the last epi last couple episodes have been at least like... Uh, uh, especially the Tamari chick. Um, it may be at least like feel for her. She was still a crazy ass bitch, but... Yeah, but anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys thought of the episode and uh, or my reaction in the comment section below. Please don't flame me too much. But like I said, I just I want to see more. But from what I've seen, I don't like it. But I'm more than happy to wait and see where he develops on later on. But anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. See ya.